Welcome to the Basics of Spectroscopy video series. Let's talk about atomic term symbols. Atomic term symbols provide a succinct notation for summarizing the angular momenta of an atomic system. Term symbols contain three pieces of information. The superscript gives the spin multiplicity, which is equal to 2s plus 1, where s is the total spin angular momentum quantum number. The central term symbolizes L, the total orbital angular momentum quantum number. For L equal to 0, 1, 2, and 3, we have S, P, D, and F terms. The subscript gives the total angular momentum quantum number J. J tells us how the spin and orbital angular momenta are coupled. Thus we see that atomic term symbols have the general form superscript 2s plus 1, L, subscript J. Let's construct the term symbol for the ground electronic configuration of atomic sodium. First, note that filled shells contribute zero to the spin, orbital, and total angular momenta. Since we are only concerned with the valence 3s electron, which has a spin angular momentum quantum number of one half, the system is described by a total spin angular momentum quantum number of one half. Thus, the spin multiplicity is equal to two, and the terms are referred to as doublets. The orbital angular momentum quantum number depends on the orbital in which the electron resides. Here the electron is in an s orbital, so L equals zero. Since we are concerned only with this electron, the total orbital angular momentum quantum number is also zero. Thus we have a doublet s term. To determine the range of possible j values, we employ a Klebsch-Gordon series. This series has limits of the sum of L and s and the absolute value of their difference and it contains integer steps between these limits. In our example, we have an upper limit of one-half and a lower limit of one-half. In other words, only j equals one-half is possible. Thus, we find atomic sodium has a doublet s one-half ground state term symbol. If instead we consider the excited 3p1 configuration, we see that the term symbols are still doublets, but that l now equals one. Thus we are expecting doublet p terms. This time when we calculate j we find two possible values, three halves and one half. The doublet p three halves and doublet p one half terms are describing the two spin orbit components of the doublet p term. I hope that you have found this short video on atomic term symbols useful. See you next time.